the mystery of the seed. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you speak to us. Open our ears and grant us understanding in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Genesis 1, 11 and 12. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the help yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and help yielding seed after its kind, and a tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after its kind. And God saw that it was good. Chapter 2, verse 21 and 22. Genesis. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and, slept, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Chapter 3. Verse 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. He shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Chapter 15. 3 to 5. Genesis. And Abraham said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed. That's a serious issue. And lo, one born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thy heir, but he that shall come out of thy own boils shall be thy heir. Verse 5. Please, if you care, I'd like to read with you. Verse 5 of chapter 15, Genesis, one to go. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. You know, the average mind in church, once you hear the word seed today, the first place your, your mind goes to is money. Two of us. All the scriptures we read, you will discover something. In Genesis chapter 1, 11 and 12, the Bible said, God cause the grass to grow, trees to grow, trees that will bear fruit. But it said something so powerful. It said, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind. Look at that. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth. It, and it was so. So everything God created, God started with his seed. Everything God created, he started them with a seed. You go to verse, verse 12, you say, and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind. And the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself. After its kind, and God saw that it was. So, when God is creating whatever he's creating, he plants seed inside that thing. Hey, come on. Am I talking to anybody here right now? In chapter 3, verse 15, it was very clear. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, 
and between thy seed and her seed. So, even man, when God was creating man, God also planted a seed inside man. Hey, am I talking to anybody here right now? If you are truly a youth, please listen today. And if you truly want to help yourself in this world, whether you're a youth, old man, anyone, please listen. But here a statement, shocking statement made in Genesis 15. And I like Jesus. I like God. I love God so much because he's very careful. In Genesis 15, oh my God, verse 3. And Abraham said, behold, to me thou hast given no seed. Hey! It was like an insult to God. Abraham said to God, To me you have given no seed. Hey! A human being open mouth and tell the Almighty that to him he has given no seed. He said, And lo, one born in my house is my heir. You have given me no seed, so my house boy is going to inherit everything I have. And look at God in verse 4. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Abraham, you lie. This shall not be thy hair, but he that shall come forth out of thy own bowels shall be thy hair. He that shall come forth out of your own bowels. Hey, please, listen this morning. The person that shall come out of your own bowels, it shall be your hair. You will not borrow another man's seed. Hear this. And he brought him forth abroad. And said, look now toward heaven. And tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall thy seed be. So, God was very conscious that everything he created he created with a seed inside it. What is a seed? A seed is anything that has the ability to produce. Anything that has the ability to produce. <laughs> what is a seed? A seed is what we call a potential. Seed is potential. The word potential is derived from the word potent. Potent means to have the ability to create. Potent means possessing strength. Potent means very powerful. <laughs> Potential is dormant ability. Dormant ability. It means that which is, but it is just lying there below its full strength, unused. I take it again. Potential is dormant ability. When they say your account has gone dormant, it means it's still your account. Hello? But it's no more in operation. Hello? Dormant account does not mean there's no money there. There can be money in the account, but the, it, it, the truth is that it is no more in use. Am I talking to someone here right now? Potential is 
dormant ability. There is an ability, but it is dormant. It is not in use. A seed is a potential. And a potential is a dormant ability. It means that which is, but it is just lying there below its full strength. Unused, unused. is there. It's there. Praise the Lord. I can hear you. Praise the Lord. Everything God created, after he has created them, he planted a seed inside them. A potential. An ability that is not used. An ability that is untapped. He leaves it there. Bam. What is potential? Potential is everything that a thing is that has not yet been seen or manifested. Potential is everything that a thing is that has not yet been seen or manifested. When a hen, H-E-N, lays egg, Am I talking to anybody? Huh? What did he lay? Is that what he laid? Huh? Is that what he laid? Egg. Are you sure? Hen. Produce. Egg. You call it egg? Eh? To the hen that laid the egg, he didn't lay egg. Hmm. What he laid was potential hen or chicken or cock, anyone. As he came out, you are the one looking at it. Hey! Egg. 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 But the hen that laid that egg is not seeing the egg. It's not seeing the shell. What is seen is inside the shell. Am I talking to anybody here right now? Oh, I'd like you to come alive. I wanted to come with egg. I said, no need. I just talk. You understand? The hen lays egg. Boom. So it's like egg, 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 egg. Most of us will take it immediately. Put it in water, boil it, and eat. <laughs> Do you know that the truth is each time you eat an egg, you have eaten a full chicken? Is anybody talking with me right now? <laughs> One full chicken. And I want to talk to you now. I'm moving. Just like you see the egg. You take it. The hen has laid egg. What you are carrying, what you are seeing is a shell. You can't see what is inside. And you move to go eat. The hen that laid that egg, as you are carrying the egg, is crying. Oh, Bring me back my thing. Give me back my thing. And you are like, get out. I'm hungry. Let me go and eat egg. To you, all you know is the shell. And whatever is in it is the white and the yolk for you. That's what the hen is crying. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bring this thing back. Why is the hen crying? The hen is relating with that egg. 
with something that your eyes cannot see. It's relating with that egg. With something that we take time and process to emerge. And that thing is called another chicken. A hen or a cock. Listen to me. Watch this. It's a heavy revelation. Immediately you are born, people see you. Your hand, your leg, your face, your eye, your nose, your mouth, everything. They see your leg. They relate with you on that note. But hear this. God does not relate with you with what the eyes can see. God relates with you with what the eyes cannot see that he deposited inside you as he was creating you. And it is called potential. Because he knows that everything he created, he planted a potential inside it. I will even say something here that will shock you. Oh my God. Do you know that you can be potent and not know? You can be potent and not know. Abraham said to God, to me you have given no seed. What an insult. Abraham said to God, to me you have given no seed. And here God's reply. God said to Abraham, quiet! This guy called Eliezer of Damascus shall not be your hair. Hear the statement. God said to Abraham, one that shall come out of your bowels. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Genesis 15, I take it from verse 3. <laughs> and Abraham said, behold, to me thou hast given no seed. That was an insult on God. You have given me no seed. And lo, one born in my house is my head. So Abraham was not aware that he was potent. It is possible you are potent and you don't know. It's possible that there is a potential inside you. But you are not aware of it. And now hear me. Most people will live the way they live because of their unconsciousness of what they carry. Potential. To me, you are given no seed. God was looking at him. Look at this one. Me, you tell me that created you, you are telling, I've given you no seed. That is, I created you and didn't put any potential in you, not me. Not me. Hear the first utterance coming this morning. And let your amen vibrate this house. I'm serious, everybody here. Today I declare. May your eyes be open to discover your potential. <laughs> to me, you have given us. Abraham said that. Abraham said that to God. See what God did in creation. As he's creating a thing, he plants something in that thing that can produce another thing. God, God is too much. Untapped, unused. The reason why you see so many people look like they are defeated Hopeless, discouraged, stranded, helpless. It's because they are unaware of what they are loaded with. 
Abraham did not know he was carrying something inside his bowels. And Abraham said to me, thou has given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is my hair. Look at verse 4. Powerful. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, this shall not be thy hair. But he that shall come forth out of thy own bowel shall be thy hair. So, God was conscious that there was something he planted in Abraham. That Abraham was not aware of. Abraham was looking hopeless, defeated, discouraged, dejected, ejected, out of life, all manner. God said, Listen, there is something in your bowels, it's called a sea. It's called potential. When you were born, it was inside you. As you grew, it was inside you. Kabali and Daru. Everywhere you went to, as you go to Jerusalem, go to Sinai, everywhere, it was inside you. I kept it there. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Ephesians 3.20 Now, unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think look at it according to the power that worketh in us God is simply saying in the Old Testament they could not catch it that I left them with a deposit they could not catch it that there is something potent I planted in all of them. But hear me. In redemption, I want to make you understand it. Now hear what he said. He said, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Listen, when you read your Bible, think. Don't just read Bible and pass. Read Bible and think. He said, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. That's greatness. But now watch it. He said, God will do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. But listen, he will only do it according to the power that worketh inside you. Which means there is a power, there is a deposit, there is an untapped strength that I left inside you at the redemption. What is potential? Potential is called hidden beauty. Hidden beauty. Beauty that the eyes cannot see. Potential. What is potential? Potential, oh my God, this one is serious. Is the intention held within the invention. Potential is the intention held within the invention. Hello? I can't hear you. Hello? Uh -uh. I can't hear you. Hello? Now watch this. Watch this. Look at me. What's this? Is it a microphone? Talk to me. Is it a microphone? It's an invention. Two of us. Huh? You may see this thing on the road. Ooh. No wire. Hey, no wire. No wire. You call it microphone? No. Let's use it for golf. The man who invented it? See you use it for golf. Begins to cry where he is. Hey Why is he shouting? This is not the intention for this invention. Using it for golf is not the intention for the invention. Potential is the intention held within an invention. Hear me. When God was creating you in his laboratory, Labado, when God entered the laboratory and said, let us make chip with it. Hey, in our image, after our likeness, as they were walking, he had an intention in his mind. 
That's why he fixed the kind of hand he gave to me. The kind of nails he gave to me. The kind of legs he gave to me. The kind of ears he gave to me. He fixed everything he fixed to fit the intention in his mind. Come on now. Am I talking to somebody here right now? Potential is the intention held within the invention. Excuse me. Do you know there are certain things in your life that as they are happening, you tell yourself, this is not why I'm born. Come on now. Am I talking to somebody here right now? Something tells you, this thing happening is not why I am born. This thing is not within my makeup. Something tells you, no, this thing is not for you. That thing crying is potential. What is potential? Potential is the future capsulated in the present. <laughs> potential is the future capsulated. In the present. As in, this is the present, but right in the present, there is a future inside it. That's potential. Am I talking to anybody here right now? Now hear me. Whatever that you cannot see a future in has no potential. But as far as you can see a future in that thing, that future you see in that thing, despite the present, listen, that's the potential. We believe this message has blessed you. If you want to give your life to Jesus, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God and that you died and rose again. I receive it now into my heart to be my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into my heart. In Jesus' name, Amen. The Lord said to me, If you will not hide my testimony, He said, I will not hide your blessing. Therefore, I pronounce, Receive an amazing good news from your family.